What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video and today yes, we have another unboxing. Today we will be unboxing the Alienware 34 inch curved quantum dot OLED gaming monitor model number AW3423DW for anybody who wants to look it up. So I'm coming from a dual monitor setup. I've been dual monitor for a long time because, you know, I game, live stream, multitask. So dual monitors um, are great, right? But I've wanted to go back to a single monitor setup for a while. And even though dual monitors have a lot of benefits, you know, there are some drawbacks as well. Uh, so I wanted to go, like I said, to a single monitor setup that can kind of fulfill the role of having two monitors. And I wanted to also experience a curved and especially an ultra wide monitor. I wanted to finally feel and <clears throat> see, you know, what it's like and be immersed in the experience of having this ultra wide display. And plus it's OLED, right? There's not a lot of OLED monitors, um, you know, on the market. And this monitor becomes very, very uh, highly rated and highly recommended. I'm going to put a link in the description. The link in the description is a is a channel that does test uh, and runs all these uh, monitors, you know, through the whole gamut. Right. They do the they do the test and they crunch the numbers and, you know, they put them in graphs. So, you know, everything you need to know from a technical aspect. I'm linking this channel because when I do my review on this monitor, mine isn't going to be super technical, right? There's so many channels out there that already do that for you. I want my review to be a little bit different, right? So I want my review to be from for the person who wants to know what is it like to game on a, an ultra wide monitor if you never have before, because that was really what I wanted to know. I knew this was like, you know, the best monitor, you know, uh, monitor that ultra wide curve monitor on the market. It even rivals the LG C1, which is a TV. So I knew the numbers and it stacked up to like the best of the best. But I wanted to know what does it feel like? What what is playing, you know, these PC games, you know, at the highest settings like on an on an ultra wide, is it more immersive? Does the curved feature help? That's the type of things that, that I wanted to know. So that's what I'm going to do my review for, you know, it's, it's for those people. I'm going to do it for, for uh, from that perspective. So look out for that. It's going to come soon. I'm going to, I've already downloaded a bunch of games um, to test this out, a bunch of games that support ultra wide and a bunch of games that, you know, obviously don't support ultra wide, such as, you know, console games. And I want to, just see what it what it's like because not only with games that support it but games that don't support it and then you have the black bars on the right and left but that's what my review is going to be like so just to get into some high level basic you know specs and features for this monitor as i already said it's 34 inches the resolution is 3440 by 1440p the refresh rate goes as high as 175 hertz through DisplayPort. It caps at 100 hertz with HDMI. It supports uh, NVIDIA G-Sync Ultimate. The response time is one millisecond, even though that you know tends to range depending on a few settings. The cables it com comes with, your basic cables, DisplayPort, Mini DisplayPort, HDMI cable, USB 3.0. Uh, to upstream cable and it has a bunch of ports to support whatever you know you may need whether it's whether you're a gamer you know a designer or a creator you know it has a two um, HDMI ports the one display port and a whole bunch of super speed um, USB 5 ports um, as I already mentioned it has quantum dot display technology a very slim panel uh, that it has a supports HDR goes as high as 1000 nits peak brightness, but it also supports, you know, it has a setting for true black 400. It has a very simple, sleek and intuitive uh, OSD menu, which gives you the flexibility to choose between a bunch of options. Um, one of the things that people worry about with OLED monitors is burning. And they claim, even though, obviously, I mean, what else are they going to say? They claim that this monitor is engineered to avoid um, any burn-in. 
The vertical viewing angle is 178. Same thing for the horizontal viewing angle. It's 110 pixels per inch. The aspect ratio was 21 by nine, which is the you know the basic um, aspect ratio for ultra wide monitors. They do it, it does get bigger than that if the monitor and the ultra wide is bigger because there's like 50. I think it's like 50 inch ultra wide monitors, and then the aspect ratio goes in like the 30s or whatever it is. And yeah, those are the pretty much the uh, the basics of the specs of this monitor. Like I said, I will get a little bit more into it uh, when I do my review, but please, if you want the real in-depth down to like the crunching of the numbers and the technical, definitely watch that video um, in the in the description as my review will you know be about the experience itself. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, follow me on Twitter, hit the notification bell, and I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.